The second message that I want to deliver before we throw the floor open for the open question and session is the 15 point action plan for the Muslim Ummah when someone insults Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him or indulges in Islamic blasphemy. I will not be repeating what I spoke last week, last Saturday, in the last session about what was done in France, including the act of President Emmanuel Macron of France. I will not be repeating that. And I had given a short message of 24 minutes last Saturday. In that message, I did say that what President Emmanuel Macron said that Islam is in crisis all over the world, he got it wrong. It is actually Islam has the solution for the crisis all over the world. And I requested that if you hear my talk, Islam, the solution for the problems of humanity, it will clarify all its questions. And even my talk on is terrorism a Muslim monopoly, it will reply to the allegations of President Macron that Islam is a radical religion and Islam is a religion of terrorism, it will give the details. I also mentioned in the last session that regarding what Muslims should do, they should listen to my answer which I gave in 2006 regarding the Danish cartoons, the Jolland Posten newspaper in Denmark which had given caricatures, 12 cartoons of a beloved Prophet Muhammad but because I got so many requests from the viewers that I should repeat the reply and but naturally since that reply was in 2006, that's about nine years ago, today I thought of giving a short message on the 15 point action plan for the Muslim Ummah when someone insults Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him or indulges in Islamic blasphemy. If someone speaks against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, against the Quran, against Islam. So this answer is a brief regarding the 15 actions that the Muslim should take. It's not only focused or localized to what's happening in France. It includes that, but this is a general answer on 15 actions that the Muslim should take. This answer of mine will just be touching on the highlights of the 15 points. I will not be going into the details because there is a question answer session. Each action or each point in detail can be spoken for an hour or more. It requires a lecture. So this I will be just touching the salient features of the 15 actions that Muslims should take and it will be specifically dealing on this topic. I will not be discussing about the general faraiz that all Muslims should do, that we Muslims should be good examples to the non-Muslims, that we should be honest, we should be kind, we should be merciful, we should be humble, we should be helping. All this is spoken by me in detail in other various lectures of mine. So today I will be hitting the nail on the head, only speaking specifically of the 15 actions that the Muslim Ummah should take when someone insults the Prophet or someone indulges in Islamic blasphemy. The first action, whenever someone reads any article against the Prophet or sees a sketch or a cartoon insulting a beloved Prophet we should follow the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad A beloved Prophet Muhammad said, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number one, hadith number 177 that the beloved Prophet Muhammad said that if you see any evil action you should change it with your hand that means you take an action against it if you cannot then do it with your tongue that is by speaking if you cannot then do it with your heart that means hate that act and agree it is wrong then you will be the lowest level of mu'min, the lowest level of a believer. So the least a Muslim can do 
whenever he hears any derogatory remarks against the Prophet, or any caricature, or any cartoon against the Prophet, any insult against the Prophet, any blasphemy against Islam, the least he can do is condemn it immediately in his heart and agree that what is done is wrong. This is the least anyone can do. Today, after the society has advanced, we find many Muslims have got so much westernized and have started agreeing with the freedom of expression that many a times when someone insults the Prophet, you don't even bat an eyelid. As though nothing has happened. Oh, this is freedom of speech. Today's world is, you know, it's a global village and the freedom of speech that someone wants to insult the Prophet, no problem. A moment, a true moment, whenever he hears any insults, the least he can do is condemn that act in his heart. So number one that any Muslim should do whenever he comes across any blasphemy against Islam, any insult against the Prophet is condemn that act and agree it is wrong. Then only can you go ahead with the other steps. If you don't condemn it, if you don't hate that thing in your heart, if you don't agree it is wrong, then how will you be able to reply or to take the other steps? So number one is you have to condemn that act in your heart.